Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Hey everybody, it's LARP Wars. And oh boy, what is that I see there? Does that say Defango? Does that say Unirock? Uh oh, does that say Defendant Goodman? What the fuck is this? Case 1 1 blah blah blah. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening right now? United States Court, Robert David Steele, plaintiff against Jason Goodman. Answer to Plaintman Steele's memorandum of opposition by intervener applicant. Answer to defend Steele's response in opposition to intervener applicant. To all parties, the non-authority intervener applicant now serves an answer in opposition in response to this. A response clerk should note that the response confirms EFC number 9718 of the court orders, and I hereby attest to... The entertaining blah 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 blah. What the hell is this? Where's Defango? Manuel Chavez the third, aka Defango, received a draft and electronic file defamation complaint to be printed and filed in the Arizona State Courts by Defango as instructed by the plaintiff's counsel. Ghostwriting author for this Arizona case was the authority of Florida plaintiff RDS. Additionally, plaintiff RDS appeared twice on personalities Defango's YouTube show to discuss. It was three times. It was three times, Dave. Three times. Including to discuss areas in the lawsuit. Based on uh, twist, defendant Defango did not file the documents in Arizona court. Instead, he called his lawyer and discussed the situation on live stream. The discussion between Defango and Biss also concluded the fellow YouTuber named Unirock. Oh my god, Unirock, you famous dude. You're gonna be... Jason Smith is now Uni Rock in Federal Court, bro! Woo! You're welcome. Anyways, identifies himself as this is Manuel Chavez, and Bist replies, Hi, Manny. To amplify, your Fango conducted a YouTube podcast where he displays a draft of the complaint written for by the counsel where he appears to be designed as the pro se complaintant. The signature blocks of the law office and the plaintiff address can be seen in the email message to Defango, such a TV referred to by the motive of monkey business. The following law arguments to demonstrate that the motive undersigned has met the legal test of intervention in this litigation, at the very least, is limited by intervener for purposes of obtaining injunctive relief on the court. To deny intervention is a violation of the petition clause, restricting moments access to the court's speaks the foundational issues of the pretendent of the Amendment 1, quoting per se, the Congress shall make no law abridging the right of the people to petition the government for redress of grievance. That just means that, since I didn't file the other one, I do believe that this is saying that I can and should and probably actually will utilize the legal methods associated with me to enter in this lawsuit since I was already planning on law suing him in the first place. And I think that there's something in here. What do they call it? it says Defango, 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 Defango. Wait, I think if we go look at this. Manuel? Manuel Chavez. Wait, no, no. I think something else shows up in here. Ah, yes. The console has electronic messages that say, oh, it's a bit more lucky spare tired to back up a wacky YouTube celebrity, Bifango, who's acting as the tip of the litigation, tip of the spear. Plaintiff's words, Manny is the one who will be in front the troubling, the troubling statement, Manny would be in front, and the legal documents prepared by the attorney emailed for Defango for filing a little card create doubt and sincerity in driving the present litigation. Then Defango backs out of the scheme and leaving the plane high and dry with the instant lawsuit. To muddy the reputation of the legal profession, Defango broadcasts the call and the reputation and discuss the podcast with another U wacky YouTube celebrity. Unfortunately, the integral inclusion of Defango in this litigation supports the theory that this instant lawsuit is more than a fluff piece to garner social media headlines and increase view counts and garner more subscribers to Defango. Dun, dun, dun! What does it say? The litigation was apparently brought for an improper purpose. 
the time that it has come to undertake a serious attitude to mitigate the damage inflicted on the court's reputation by this bizarre cast of characters associated with the case. The court will recall that the plaintiff already stated in electronic messages to George Webb in the present litigation was far more or less a bare tire to back up the wacky YouTube celebrity. Ooh. Ooh. Attorney Biz has a reputation for filing other fluff lawsuit pieces, publicity stunts, and other... Not expected to mature past stage, but remains stillborn after the headlines of social media instruments. It begins to diminish. Oh. So wait, is this good or bad? What the fuck? This is so long. Are, are they saying that to deny intervention is a violation of the petition clause, but then it says bad, 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 bad. But then it says good? The litigation is improper? I mean, this kind of seems like it could be a real big problem for somebody over here. Although, what does it say? The plaintiff RDS was escorted to dispensing advice to another YouTube celebrity known as Dave Seaman. The subject of the plaintiff's video is encouraging filing lawsuits against social media companies. Hmm. Interesting. Google the Spockwo. I think we looked at, him. at that on the Defango channel, didn't we? Hmm. Existing parties do not adequately represent the motive's interest. Integration of YouTube celebrity Defango to the initiated lawsuit to include the tip of the spear plan. Hmm. It kind of just seems very, very interesting indeed. What is his overall purpose for all of this, though? What's the conclusion? Foregoing reasons for the magistrate, the, plation show, the plaintiff's motion to show cause, and motion to strike, and motion to leave, to amend the motion to show cause, and is denied without prejudice. Defendant's motion to dismiss is denied without prejudice, and the case is transferred to the United States Court of Appeals. Oh, wait, that's an exhibit. Where are we at? Exhibit 4, Exhibit 3, Exhibit 3, Exhibit 2... Exhibit 2. Ah, here we go. This court should consider allowing the intervener applicant to perceive as a limited intervener plaintiff for the purposes of seeking injunctive relief. In this manner, there will be no direct impact to the tempo of this litigation due to the underside's participation in the lawsuit. This court has an adhered power to inquire the outlandish claims that bring great discredit upon the great administration of efficiency and justice and the integrity of the court is intolerant. This court allows the litigants to launch a public smear campaigns in extrajudicial fashions under the unsuspecting eyes of the court. The United States Supreme Court has held the applicant must only take a minimum showing that the parties in the actions now represent adequately the applicant's interest to fulfill the requirements of Rule 24, a four-page park test. The applicant is met with the burden. Hmm. And the motive is extended his burden in this manner, respectfully submitted to the courts. Hmm. So, I guess some of these other applicants that tried to get into the thing... Hi, Steve. What's up, chubby Steve? What is it? Action versus Guzman? Smoky business? Defango Uni Rock named in the RDS lawsuit? Sounds like all these boys and girls are really working together on this one once again. Hmm. He even posted it up over here. If you haven't read the document, maybe you should. But Dave's doing something completely different. I don't know what's going on, but I think... We might actually have to get ourselves uh, written in and eroded. Some people will think that this is just YouTube flander, but I think that just proves once again that they wanted me to be the tip of the spear, and I didn't want to be the tip of the spear. Now Robert's the tip of the spear. And I think this is saying, oh, well, you could come in, but as a limited applicant. And I would be fine with that, but who knows what's going to happen. Bye-bye now.